The recent launch of the tourism sector standard operating procedures is a milestone in the quest to revive the tourism industry that has been massively affected by the novel coronavirus. The tourism sector is, uh, is a growing sector that has majority of the operators as a small to medium you know, uh, businesses. The small ones have, some of them have reached a point where they have to shut down. And of course, in terms of arrivals, we had we had, the internationals, we have had zero. Even the domestic one, until last month, nobody was traveling, so no one was earning any money. With no foreign visitors coming into the country and locals hesitant to resume their previous pending patterns, the industry wars are not about to end. Various stakeholders in the tourism and hospitality industry are continuing to lobby for the lifting of the ban on commercial flights to Uganda. Although it's vital in improving the subdued business environment and Tewe International Airport's capacity to effectively and safely handle huge numbers of travelers is questioned. This is the only main entry and exit for the country. And this is where most of the suspected people will always pass. Therefore, the control at the Entebbe International Airport has to be robust. Imagine you get out of the aeroplane and you're walking to the arrival. Can you imagine 200 people arriving there? Their temperatures have to be taken. There are all the different formalities now with the health that needs to uh, needs to be managed. You can't be having 200 people standing in that place. So they have provided for additional space where it's more like a holding place, but they need to make it better. So that is part of what is still missing. In 2019, over 1.6 million foreign visitors accessed Uganda through Entebbe International Airport. In 2020, the number was projected to surpass 